Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Adina show. So, um, Adina, there was a recent very interesting thing. I think it was the Academy Awards. I want to, uh, what can you share about that? Okay, I'm not 100% sure of the details of the story. Something along the lines of this conflict over you need to have a minority main character to be eligible for a for your film to be eligible for an Academy Award or something, and the Jews weren't included in this, and so a bunch of people are signing this letter. And I don't really know all the details of the story, so I don't want to misquote a story, but it is this theme um, and this plague, really, of something going on in the world where, um, because if you're counting about numbers, Jews are a minority, but it seems like there's a deeper message here. It's not that they're looking for a way to show you a smaller people or us like the underdog being victorious and fighting against all odds and coming out because that's kind of the story of the Jewish people is like the little guy that has this inner strength and he shines and that's the person that everybody loves like in the story in the movie but it seems that society is instead celebrating actually victimhood and celebrating failure and being like and it's like this klipa, this mindset of like, if you're successful, you should feel guilty about it. And even if you fought tooth and nail for that success, you should feel guilty about it. And because it's like feeding children this message of like, when I grew up, we had role models. It's like feeding the children this message of never have a role model. Never look up to anything because you'll never be anything because the only thing to celebrate being is a failure. It's a person that never really overcame a circumstance, a person that's a victim. That's the cool thing to be is a victim and to fight for victimhood. And that is, it's the antithesis of the story of the Jewish people. And it's really the antithesis of every human being's story because we all have darkness in us and we all have, and, and we all really are essentially light. And when that story is perpetuated or that, that, um, that dialogue, that religion <laughs> of, you know, if you succeed, you're bad. And the failure is really the good guy. Like the guy that's oppressed and beaten down and never makes it out of the situation. And that like, that's really the guy that you want to be. Like, that's the one, like, that's not the guy anybody wants to be. We can't control the situations in our life. We can't control what we're been into. We can't control, but we become stronger through our struggles. And that's the story of the Jewish people. Like right now, we just started the book of Shemos, the book of Exodus, the book of redemption. And we read about the story of a nation that was enslaved for hundreds of years. And that was a long time because the world wasn't that old then. For hundreds of years. And we came out and we became to free people and a redeemed people. And I mean, and every time that we, something's had, somebody's come against the Jewish people, we've always emerged stronger and we'll emerge stronger this time. And that's the story that humanity needs because we're not just for ourselves that that happens. We are a light unto the nation. And in every society, there's someone and they're like, that's struggling. And it's just a regular life story that somebody struggles and feels like, I can't do this. I'm the oddball. I'm the one out. And the story of the Jewish people is the encouragement to that person. Like, no, they were the, the, the few and, the, and like against the many and they tri were triumphant. Or like David Amelf was the little guy against Goliath Goliath. It's like the big giant. Like, and he was triumphant. Like, that's really the story of the soul. And... Um, it's, a, that's really the message for the world. So, um, yeah, please, like, please God and, and anybody just, if you find yourself falling into that trap of being like, oh, I need to root for this. I need to root for that. Yeah. There is an amazing thing to root for our minority a minority when somebody beats it against all odds because of the effort that they put in and the work and the grit and the determination, the soul, soul shines, but and that's what we celebrate. But we don't celebrate failure and we don't condone um, victory and triumph because triumph and victory is really the story of the human spirit. Great stuff. We do condone <laughs> victory and triumph. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't condone, what did I say? We don't condone failure. Yeah, we don't condone. But basically, the basic message is... We are anti. <laughs> we, we are for... We are pro-victory.
and yeah. pro strength and pro yeah pro showing your light and shining your light and being the light that lights up the darkness yeah and um yeah and and just going all the way and never letting anything squander your dreams or hold you back and you're never yeah it's not cool to be a victim because yeah. hashem didn't create victims he created warriors great beautiful thank <laughs> you so much